nice to see those happy faces praising God in the heavenly places like the truth that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. One more time, I like the truth that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. I like the truth that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people, it's so nice to see those happy faces, praising God in the heavenly places, like the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. If you're happy to be here, sing it one more. Like the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people, I like the thrill that I feel when I get together
praise. If you have something to give God thanks for, just give him a praise in the house. Just give him a praise in the house. Praise him like you've never praised him before this morning because you don't know if it's the last morning that you're going to get to praise him. Hallelujah. Can you shout the hallelujah in the house? And like, oh, you have something to praise him for. Oh, Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder consider have made glory to your name Jesus I see the stars I hear the rolling thunder thy power throughout the you If you have something to give God thanks, sing it with me. Then sing my. See? 
What is your soul singing this morning? Then sing my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. Love, the Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there a worship in the house of the Lord? Hallelujah. 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 Give him a worship this morning. Give him a worship this morning. He deserves our glory. He deserves all praise this morning. Lord, we magnify your name. King of kings. Lord of lords conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. We worship you this morning. How great thou art. Then sing my soul, my Savior, God to thee. How great thou art. He made the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. He created the seas. Hallelujah. The great hills, the great mountains. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God. Look at the stars in the sky. Look at the sun. Hallelujah. This morning. Hallelujah. Look at the trees. Hallelujah. Look beside you, you see your brother, you see your sister. He's our creator. Hallelujah. God is great. He is our God. Give him a round of applause. And this morning, I'm happy to be in the house of the Lord. How about you? Hallelujah. I want to greet my bishop. I want to greet his family. I want to greet the officers of this church. I want to greet you all, my brothers and sisters in the Lord. God is good. And all the time, God is good. If you're here for worship, give the Lord a round of applause. Hallelujah. And those who are join us, joining us online, God bless you. Welcome to church this morning. Hallelujah. We are here to give God praise and worship. Whatever agenda the devil has, we are here to worship. I am here to worship. Ensure that as you sit and as you stand and as you take part in Today's worship, let it come from the depth of your heart. Amen? Hallelujah, hallelujah. God is good today, and we are here to give him all praise and worship. Hallelujah. When we depart from this building today, hallelujah, let it be said that today I worshiped. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. This morning, I'm going to be calling on our brother Kirby. He will be opening us in prayer. Then sings my soul. Let us stand. My Savior, God, to
and mighty this morning mighty God we lift up your name on high you are higher than the highest no one else is higher than you this morning mighty God we lift you up because you are the king of kings and the lord of lords we honor you mighty God this morning we worship your holy name Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, O Lord. Take not thy Holy Spirit from me, but restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and renew a right spirit within me. Mighty God, as we come this morning into your house to worship and adore your holy name, to glorify you, King of kings and Lord of lords, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, the exalted one, the one who came and he died on that old rugged cross just for me. This morning we give you praise, this morning God. This morning we honor you, King of Kings. This morning we worship you, Lord of Lords. Lord, as we come to worship you this morning, I pray that you may wash us afresh. Sanctify each and every individual in your house this morning. Lord, empty our cups this morning, God. Wash them out. And fill us up with new wine this morning. So that when we are worshiping mighty God, we'll give you new praise this morning. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. We glorify you. Thank you for bringing us throughout the week, mighty God. Without accidents, without any harm to our physical body. Mighty God, we are here in one piece. Lord, we are not our on any funeral service this morning, any program for a funeral, but we are here to glorify your name on high. Lord, I pray that your Holy Spirit may surround us in this sanctuary today. I pray that you may send the host of heaven to encamp around us today, Lord, and let your Holy Spirit move in this sanctuary from Rustum to Pew, from balcony to outside mighty God I pray that you may deliver who came to be delivered bless who came to be blessed save who came to be saved mighty God let everyone that is here today leave with a word knowing that you are the all powerful mighty one and there is none other Lord, I bless the musicians this morning that they may play skillfully, Lord, to honor you and to glorify you with their instruments. I pray for everybody that will be participating in this service this morning, God. I pray that you may anoint them from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet, and they may speak what you have given them to speak, Lord. Thank you one more time, mighty God. I pray for the speaker this morning that he will give him the authority to speak, thus said the Lord. Thank you one more time, God, because we know you are here with us already and we know you're going to be with us for the rest of this service. Thank you in your precious holy name, I pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a round of applause. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This time I'm going to be calling on um, Brother Kareem Thompson for the scripture reading. Praise the Lord. Morning, brothers and sisters. Our scripture reading today comes to us from Mark 10, verses 46 through to 52. Please turn to the person beside you and say, let's stand for the reading of the word. Mm 
here beginning. And they came to Jericho. And as he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great number of people, blind Bartimius, the son of Tiamus, sat by the highway side begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace, but he cried the more a great deal. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort, rise, he calleth thee. And he, casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What wilt thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith has made thee whole. And immediately he received the, his sight and followed Jesus in the way. Here ended a portion of God's holy word. We honor it by saying, thanks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is your request from Jesus this morning? Hallelujah. Where is it that you have a blind situation? Uh, what sort of situation do you have this morning? Jesus is here to deliver. Hallelujah. But you can't just sit by and hug up your problems, your situation. Call on Jesus this morning. Bartimaeus said, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes we have our situations and we sit down with them. And the devil would have it that you close your mouth. Yes, he doesn't want you to speak. He doesn't want you to call out. He doesn't want you to have faith and open your mouth and speak. Hallelujah. But to this morning, my brothers and sisters, whatever is happening in your life, tell Jesus about it. Hallelujah. Amen? Tell Jesus about it this morning. And to make you feel welcome, hallelujah, I'm going to be asking a representative from the PR team to come at this time and to make us feel welcome. Let us praise the Lord. Let us magnify the name of Jesus. If you have a praise this morning, just jump to your feet and give God some praise this morning. If you're happy to be here this morning, just praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. Glory be to your name. God has been good to you this morning. And that is why you're here this morning. Just to praise him and exalt his holy name. Praise God. Just give the Holy Ghost a round of applause this morning as we entertain him this morning in this place. The presence of the Lord is indeed in the house this morning. Praise God. Let me acknowledge and greet our shepherd, Bishop Steve Hepburn, Lady Hepburn and family, Reverend Williams and family, deacons and families, our officers and families, heads of departments and families, our musician, praise and worship team, choir, our moderator, greetings to you. And of course, our online members and viewers, well-wishers and members of the Spaulings New Testament Church of God, greetings to you, my brothers and sisters. It is really good to be in the house of the Lord another time just to praise his name and to exalt his holy name. Just pat yourself and say to yourself, I am here in spite of. Praise God. We don't know what is ahead of us, 
but we are here in spite of. I don't know what is going on in your life, but you are here in spite of us, in spite of. Praise God. We want to welcome our first time visitors this morning. And as I call your name, please stand. Miss Fiona Ferron, please stand if you hear your names. Mr. Onfrey Roy, Onfroy, welcome. Delano Onfroy, uh, Miss Shanique Gordon. Indiana Salmon, I don't think I'm pronouncing that name properly. Okay, welcome. Let us just stand for me all those persons' names I would have called just now. Just stand for me. Let us recognize you this morning. And if you're here and I did not call your name, just stand, please. The ushers will come and they will give you a little package. We want to say welcome and thank you for being here at church with us this morning. I hope that you will be blessed and that whatever you came here for, that you will get it this morning. Praise God. Let us listen to the following announcements. All right, so we're having technical problems with the announcement at this time. You'll hear them later on as we get that sorted. Please do enjoy the rest of the day. You're here for a treat. You're here for a blessing this morning. Just let go and let the Lord have his way. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, we're still in our crusade period. And as you know, this morning we are, yes, embarking on winning souls for Christ. Hallelujah. Let me see the hands of those who are in the crusade mood, winning souls for Christ. You're an evangelist in your mind. You're an evangelist at heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you are not, it should be a prayer that you should be praying. Because it is whatever we have in Christ is not just for you and you alone. Hallelujah. You're supposed to win others. Amen. Yes, and so if you find that you don't have that drive, my brothers and sisters, we ought to pray for that drive. You know, it's not a selfish thing. Imagine God sent his only begotten son into this world to die for us, and you would have received such a gift. It is for us to spread the word of the Lord. And so, my brothers and sisters, the new uh, um, persons that came in this morning, our first time visitors, if you have not yet accepted the Lord as your personal Savior, today, today is a beautiful day for you to make such a decision. Hallelujah! Today is a beautiful day that you can make such a a decision and so brothers and sisters we continue with our crusade as we go throughout today we will be in going over into this evening hallelujah and where do we um, pitch our tent this evening where in the town of Spaulins hallelujah and we are looking forward for a big group a big representation 
this evening. And so, brothers and sisters, we continue to implore you to continue praying. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I ask Rahim, Brother Rahim Gordon at this time, to come with a declaration of faith. Good morning, it's Paul in New Testament Church of God. Please stand as we declare what we believe in. We believe in the verbal inspiration of the Bible, in one God eternally existing in three persons, namely the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost that Jesus Christ is the only begotten Son of the Father, conceived of the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, that Jesus was crucified, buried, and raised from the dead, that he ascended to heaven, and is today at the right hand of the Father as the intercessor, that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, and that repentance is commanded of God, for all and necessary for the forgiveness of sins. That justification, regeneration, and the new birth are wrought by faith in the blood of Jesus Christ. In sanctification, subsequent to the new birth, through faith in the blood of Christ, through the word and by the Holy Ghost. Holiness to be God's standard of living for his people. In the baptism with the Holy Ghost, Subsequent to the clean heart, in speaking with other tongues, as the Spirit gives utterance, and that it is initial evidence of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. In water baptism by immersion, and all who repent should be baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Divine healing is provided for all in the atonement. In the Lord's Supper and washing of the saints' feet, in the premillennial second coming of Jesus, first to resurrect the righteous dead and to catch away the living saints for him in the air, second to reign on the earth a thousand years. In the bodily resurrection, eternal life for the righteous and eternal punishment for the wicked. Please have a blessed Sunday. All hail the power of Jesus' name. Let angels all straight forward bring forth the
hands and praise God, everybody. Lift your hands and worship God, everybody. Lift your hands and praise the King of glory. Praise the King of glory, everybody. Worship the King of kings. Worship the Lord of lords. Celebrate him. Come on, come on, somebody. Come, let us crown him. Crown him. Crown him. Crown him. Crown him with praise. Crown him with adoration. Crown him. glory ancients of days rock of ages bomb in Gilead sweet rose of Sharon lily of the valley conquering lion tribe of Judah Emmanuel wonderful counselor Unstoppable God, unshakable God, immutable God, undeniable God, irreversible God, unchangeable God, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Tiskemu, Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Makadishim, Adonai, King of Glory, King of Glory. Resurrected Lord, Master, Savior, Friend, Shield, Defender, Waymaker, Promise Keeper, Heavy Load Shearer, Rabba Koshatoria, Randaba Kotoria, Rimbio Kiba Shatoria, Nekribatoria, and Sataraba. Katoria Muria, Libra Vasutu, Repatoria Bandai, Ribio Kesotora Mahusa, Macribatoria, Iba Bande Kesatoria. We elevate you, we establish you, we crown you, we worship you. somebody just your case may I inform somebody just in case you're not tapped into the spiritual realm to understand what is happening the Holy Ghost says this is not a moment of building emotions or trying to allow you to feel good I am having an encounter and I don't know what you're waiting on to have an encounter but the Holy Ghost says right now Every person should be having an encounter because he's in your midst. He's passing through. Shakoraba. 
whatever you may have been told however you have been feeling drop it forget it walk out of it and let God know you come here to worship you come here to set up some words Oh, God Almighty. Sit down if you can. A sense that somebody's about to be baptized with the Holy Ghost today. Somebody's about to speak another. Oh God Almighty, somebody pull the catch, pull the catch. Move the catch, move the catch. Let the Holy Ghost have dominion. Let the Spirit of the Lord have control. Hey, Sir Cross, we have to go back up and let God have we, you know. Because so many a times, moderators and pastor tend to put a shackle on the Holy Ghost. And sometimes we tend to program the Holy Ghost. So maybe we have to go step back and say, Holy Ghost, run the service today. Some heavenly languages is about to be poured out in this house today. Deacon. Deacon. Let's walk go down and shout release. Let's walk go down. Flash your hand under the anointing. Release. Release your power. Release your anointing. Oh. Glory. 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 Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. 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 Good God Almighty. 
mighty somebody worship in the house. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Oh yes. This church will wake up with some of the old church anointing. Somebody help me here. I said, we will wake up with some of the old church. Sunday morning anointing. Somebody help me in the house. Somebody help me over here. Somebody help me in the big cathedral. I want to go back and keep church over old church. I'm going to have to go back over whole church one Sunday morning. I'm going to lock up the cathedral and we pack up in a whole church. Come on, somebody help me here. For this new church, something to mash up some people. I get to some people head that they come with a sit on my rightest, with a sophisticated, cute spirit when the anointing of God is saying, Welcome me. Welcome me, welcome me, welcome me, welcome me, welcome me. Somebody worship, somebody worship. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus.
Lift your hands and worship God, everybody. Praise God.
Come on, somebody all across this auditorium, lift your hands and worship the name of the Lord, our God. Can you stand to your feet if you can and lift your hands and worship the name of the Lord, our God. Oh, glory, oh, glory, oh, glory to God. Oh, I feel his presence in this place. I feel his presence in this place. I feel his presence in this place. Oh, oh, glory to God. Woo. Jesus, Jesus. God, mm. I feel a shift. Slap your neighbor, say, neighbor, there's a shift. Mm. Mm. Something is about to take place. A shift is about to take place. Yes, Lord! Mm. Oh, glory! <laughs> Woo. Woo. Hey! Jesus Christ. Yeah, hey God. Mm. Mm. Hold on a minute, church. We have to clear out some stuff before we go forward. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know, but Bishop is on the right track. There's a demon of heaviness that is assigned to this cathedral. That from we come over here, so 
2022. Demons are heaviness, sit down, power. But in the name of Jesus, enough is enough. Stop your neighbor, say, neighbor, enough is enough. Oh, glory. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah and sit down. Glory to God. Stand with me, church of God. Grab your Bibles. And turn it to the book of Mark, chapter 10, verse 46. Mark, chapter 10, verse 46 to 52. Oh, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Mm. Hallelujah. It says, Then they came to Jericho, and as he went out of Jericho with his disciples, and a great number of people, blind by Timaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried the more a great deal, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still, and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort, rise, he calleth thee. And he, casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What wilt thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith, hath, thy faith hath made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. The word of the Lord we say, Amen. You may be seated everybody. Brothers and sisters, allow me to acknowledge the sweet presence of the Holy Spirit that is very much dwelling in our midst this morning. Allow me to also recognize our host pastor, district overseer, Bishop Steve Hepburn, and his wife, Sister Katie and Hepburn, and Mikhail and Mikida. I also recognize the Reverend Devanda Williams and his wife as well, and also our officer in charge, Brother McLeod, deacons and other officers leaders, heads of departments, and everybody, our evangelism director, evangelist Judine Maxwell. I recognize everybody in the name of the Lord, and I say greetings. Greetings, Pauline. So like you don't happy if you see me. Greetings, Pauline. It's good to be back home. Praise the name of the Lord. With me today is two of my batchmates are here with me. Student Pastor Shanike Gardner is here as well. Could you stand? And also Student Pastor Wayne Gordon. Please put your hands together for him, for them. 
Also, also with them is a very good friend of mine, Sister Rihanna Saunders, and she is the church sister of Brother Wayne Gordon. Please stand. Praise the name of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, I crave your prayers this afternoon. I woke up this morning and I was coughing down the place. My nose was stuffy. I threw up about five times before I got here. But I said to myself, I am coming here to preach the word of the Lord today, whether I vomit or not. And so my brothers and sisters, I'm here to deliver the word that God has laid on my heart. We're going to be looking at a topic, transformed by mercy, embracing Jesus' saving power. Transformed by mercy, embracing Jesus' saving power. I don't know if you know this song, praise team. Everywhere he went, he was doing good. He fed the multitude, gave me attitudes everywhere he went. And when the cripples saw him, they started walking. The dumb talked like they should. And everywhere he went, my Lord was doing good. Oh, everywhere he went, he was doing good. He fed the multitude, gave me attitudes everywhere he went. And when the cripples saw him, they started walking. The dumb talked like they should. And everywhere he went, my Lord was doing good. Let's sing it again everywhere. Everywhere he went, he was doing good. He fed the multitude, gave me attitudes everywhere he went. And when the cripples saw him, they started walking. The dumb talked like they should. And everywhere he went, my Lord was doing good. Sing it again. Everywhere he went, he was doing good. He fed the multitude, gave me attitudes everywhere he went. And when the cripples saw him, they started walking. The dumb talked like they should. And everywhere he went, my Lord, he was doing good. Look if you can, look if you can find the second verse, Mr. Technician. Oh, everywhere he went, he was doing good. He gave me attitudes, helped the multitudes everywhere he went. And when the cripples saw him, they started walking. The dumb talk like they should. And everywhere he went, my Lord was doing good. Hear this verse. Oh, Jesus opened blind eyes. He heard the lame cry. He raised the dead and calmed the sea. He's a mighty helper. He cleansed the leper, he set the captive spirit free. Though they crucified him, they crucified him, yet he still abides today. And everywhere he went, my Lord, he was doing good. Oh, everywhere he went, he was doing good. He fed the multitude, gave me attitudes everywhere he went. And when the cripples saw him, they started walking. The dumb talked like they should. And everywhere he went, my Lord was doing good. Hallelujah. Be seated in the name of the Lord. Praise God. Everywhere our Lord went, he was doing good. And he continues to do good. So my sisters and brothers, transformed by mercy, embracing Jesus' saving power. In this passage, we see a profound encounter between Jesus and a blind beggar named Bartimaeus. This interaction, brothers and sisters, serves as a powerful illustration 
of the transformative power of mercy and the saving grace of our Savior Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, in those times, disability, particularly blindness, carries significant social and economic implications. Those with disabilities often faced marginalization, exclusion from religious and social activities, and economic hardship. Bartimaeus, as a blind beggar, would have been relegated to the outskirts of society, dependent on the charity of others for survival. Bartimaeus, sitting by the roadside, blind and destitute, symbolizes not only physical blindness, but also spiritual blindness, a condition that is afflicting humanity, trapping us in darkness and despair. Uh, in our brokenness and desperation, we, like Bartimaeus, yearn for a glimpse of hope, a ray of light to guide us forward. Yet amidst his darkness, Bartimaeus hears that Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. Here, brothers and sisters, we witness the convergence of divine providence and human need. Despite his physical blindness, Bartimaeus possessed a spiritual insight uh, that recognized Jesus uh, as the source of healing uh, and salvation. His cry, Jesus, son of David, uh, have mercy on me, echoes uh, through the ages. It reminds us of our own need uh, for mercy and grace. In Bartimaeus' plea, we find a profound lesson in humility and dependence upon the mercy mercy of Almighty God. How often do we, like Bartimaeus, acknowledge our own brokenness and cry out to Jesus for mercy? How often do we recognize Jesus as the only one who can truly save us from our sins and restore us to wholeness, my God Almighty? But as Jesus paused in response to Bartimaeus' cry, we witness the divine compassion of our Savior. Jesus uh, moved with empathy, caused for Bartimaeus to come to him. In that moment, brothers and sisters, uh, Bartimaeus demonstrated an unwavering faith uh, as he threw aside his cloak, uh, he threw aside his garment uh, and approached Jesus. Uh, this act of faith uh, and surrender mirrors our own need to let go of the things uh, that bind us, uh, uh, our pride, uh, our self-sufficiency, our sin, uh, and come to Jesus with open hearts, uh, ready to receive his mercy and to receive his grace. Uh, and what transpires next in the text uh, is truly miraculous. Uh, my sisters and brothers, uh, in gospel narratives, uh, we encounter a myriad of individuals uh, whose lives were forever changed uh, by their encounter with Jesus Christ. From the woman at the well to the paralytic by the pool, each story bears witness to the profound impact of faith in the face of adversity. Yet perhaps no story encapsulates the essence of transformation more touchingly than that of blind Bartimaeus. Oh God Almighty. But my sisters, and brothers, uh, as we go on in this journey uh, through Bartimaeus' encounter with Jesus, uh, let us keep in mind uh, three pivotal points that will guide our reflection today. Uh, we see understanding the condition, uh, crying out for help, uh, and surrendering to the Savior. Good God Almighty, my brothers and sisters, uh, the text says to us, uh, and they came to Jericho, uh, and as he went out of Jericho with his disciples uh, and a great number of people blind Bartimaeus uh, sat by the highway side begging. Bartimaeus, positioned by the roadside, found himself in a state of 
desperate need uh, and profound longing for change. Uh, uh, God Almighty Bartimius uh, found himself in a state uh, of perpetual darkness, uh, both physically and spiritually. Uh, uh, God Almighty. In fact, uh, Bartimius' name means son of Timius. Uh, and biblically, uh, Timius means unclean, uh, contaminated, uh, or polluted. Uh, so Bartimius uh, was son of the unclean. Uh, good God Almighty. Uh, but my brothers and sisters, uh, understanding Bartimius' condition uh, goes beyond merely acknowledging uh, his physical blindness it encompasses a deeper understanding of the challenges of the vulnerabilities and societal marginalization Bartimius faced Bartimius's blindness was not just a physical ailment but a symbol of his broader condition a condition marked by poverty a condition marked by destitution a condition marked by isolation firstly we must recognize the profound impact of Bartimaeus's blindness on his daily life the Bible does not specify how often Bartimaeus came to the highway side to beg however it is likely that he was a regular presence there as begging may have been his primary means for survival Bartimaeus being blind may not have had many options for employment or sustenance so he likely relied on begging to cover his daily needs like Bartimaeus some of us are in conditions some of us are in states that have tied us down a state of hopelessness a state of helplessness Bartimaeus couldn't help himself as a blind beggar Bartimaeus occupied one of the lowest classes of society often overlooked by those who passed him by he would have been subject to stigma and discrimination he might have been viewed as a burden rather than a fellow human being deserving dignity and respect but the thing is Jesus had a thing for stopping by people and places that persons ignored or put aside you can ask the man with leprosy you can ask Mr. Tax Collector Zacchaeus you can ask the woman with the issue of blood you can ask the woman who was caught in the act of adultery you can ask the man who was possessed by legions of demons you can ask the woman of Samaria and you can definitely ask ask uh, blind Bartimaeus uh, some of us in here today uh, are in some conditions uh, that has allowed friends uh, family uh, church brothers uh, church sisters uh, to ignore us uh, some of us uh, have been have committed uh, some sins uh, years ago uh, uh, God Almighty uh, and all know church brother uh, and church sister can't lose you oh good God almighty oh you're not preaching with me Spalding every time you come in a church you can feel the shame you can feel the neglect you can feel the disappointment you can feel the hurt but I came by to tell somebody that your condition your sins the question she said who is 
Andy. She went to her mother bishop and she asked the same question. She went to her brother deacon and she asked the same question. Who is Andy? And the parents thought she was getting mad. So they went to her room, Officer Graham, and said to the little girl, girl, are you going crazy? Who is this Andy you're talking about? The girl said you must not have been listening in church, Sister Hepburn. The preacher said, Andy walks with me. Andy talks with me. Andy tells me that I am his own. Oh, somebody bless the name of the Lord. Slap your neighbor, say, neighbor, you are not forgotten. And he walks with me. And he talks with me. And he tells me that I am his own. And he heals me. And he delivers me. And he guides me. And he sustains me. Slap your neighbor. Say neighbor. You are not forgotten. Oh good God Almighty. Oh God. So Jesus had a thing for stopping by those people or places that persons or in those times Jews regarded as bad. Places or people they ignored. People or places that were destitute. I don't know about you brothers and sisters and I am glad this is streaming so somebody in Jamaica can hear me. I need God. I need Jesus to stop by Jamaica. Land we love because Jamaica in our condition we may have to wonder if we still remember that there's a God in Israel. A God Almighty. Young men under bondage. Young women under bondage. Children under bondage. I'm not preaching in politics now I'm preaching reality communities under bondage schools under bondage the church of God must take it up in hand and cry out eternal father bless our land guide us with thy mighty hand keep us free from evil powers oh I'm gonna preach in spalling be our light through countless hours to our leaders to prime minister to opposition leader to cabinet minister to shadow cabinet great defender grand true wisdom from above justice truth be ours forever Jamaica let the church say Jamaica Jamaica Land we love, me tired of it, me tired of the murders, me tired of the rapists, me tired of the stealing, eternal father. Oh Jesus. But you know what? Officer Thompson Jr. Good God Almighty, even though we are going through what Jamaica is going through, even though we are going through our personal challenges, even though we are going through family conditions, all church conditions as well, oh good God Almighty, I am not going to fret, neither am I going to worry, because I am assured in Psalm chapter number 46, God is our refuge and our strength a very present help in time of trouble our God Almighty therefore we will not fear though the earth be removed oh somebody preach with me no man and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea though its waters roar and be troubled though the mountains 
shake with the swelling there is a river let the church say there is a river there is a river whose streams shall make glad the city of God the holy place of the tabernacle of the most high God is in the midst of her she shall not be moved and I love what verse 10 says so when you understand your condition verse 10 is saying be still and know that I am God I will be exalted in the earth I will be exalted among the nations and he finishes the chapter he says the Lord of hosts is with us the God of Jacob is our refuge so you can't turn there in your condition but I have a God I have a savior when I leave me by the wayside slap your neighbor say neighbor understand the condition then cry out for help So sisters and brothers, after we would have understood our condition, we need to take action and ball out for help, cry out for help. The text says, Bartimaeus heard that Jesus was passing by and he was waiting to get his breakthrough brothers and sisters I believe there is somebody in Spalding today that is waiting on Jesus to pass by here oh God almighty Bartimaeus recognized that he needed help Bartimaeus recognized that he could not stay in this condition anymore Bartimaeus heard that the great healer was passing by and he decided that he was not going to stay in that condition anymore Ah, uh, God Almighty, uh, brothers and sisters, uh, it's time for some of us uh, to make up in our minds uh, that this condition uh, has been holding me down uh, for too long uh, and I've got to get rid of it. Ah, uh, uh, God Almighty, uh, I'm reminded uh, of the woman with the issue of blood. Uh, she had that condition, Evangelist Miller, uh, for 12 long years. Uh, and she decided uh, that enough is enough. Uh, it's time for some of us to say uh, enough is enough. Uh, slap your neighbor, say neighbor. Uh, enough is enough. Uh, not na go on for me. Uh, enough is enough. Uh, no wife na come me way. Uh, enough is enough. Uh, no husband na come me way. Uh, enough is enough. Uh, can't find clothes. Uh, can't find food enough is enough sickness is rocking my body but enough is enough the marriage I shake like this but enough is enough the woman pushed through the big crowd because enough is enough she realized there was a divine opportunity in her desperation my Bible tells me that the woman said if I could just touch the hem of his garment I will be healed she was desperate if it's even if it touch just the hem that's how she was desperate my God Almighty some of us in here today are bound up and tied up 
Uh, one trailer load of problems. Uh, one bag of condition back away. Uh, but I came by to tell Spalling uh, that Jesus uh, is passing by. Uh, it doesn't matter the condition uh, you're in. Uh, there's a man uh, passing by uh, who can turn uh, it around. Uh, I can take uh, a heart that's broken uh, and make it over again. Uh, but I uh, know a man uh, who can. Uh, uh, I can't take uh, a soul that's sin sick uh, and wash it white uh, as the snow. Uh, but I, uh, I. Uh, no a man who can I can recommend my Lord to any man when I'm sick he heals me when I'm sad he makes me glad slap your neighbor say neighbor neighbor I no a man who can slap the other neighbor say neighbor I know a man who can oh Jesus I can recommend a man who can make the cripple walk I can recommend a man who can make deaf ears hear I can recommend a man who can make blind eyes open up oh God almighty can I tell you about this man for a moment at Caesarea Philippi Jesus asked his disciples who do you say who do peep say that I am they said some call you John the Baptist some call you Elijah oh I'm going to preach up in here some say you are Jeremiah some say you are one of the prophets he asked them so who do you say that I am Peter declared thou art the Christ the son of the living God you are the Christ the son of the living God you are the Christ the anointed one you are the Christ the Messiah you are prophet priest and king he's Alpha he's the bread of life he's the compassionate one he's the deliverer he's the exalted one he's faithful he's good he's holy he's infinite do I need to go on I'm just warming up you know he's just he's king of kings he's lord of lords he's the messiah he's noble he's omnipotent omniscient and omnipresent he's the prince of peace he has quality he's the redeemer he's the savior he's the truth he's unstoppable he's victorious he's the way he's Yahweh he's Zion's king he's Jehovah Jireh my provider he's Jehovah Shalom my peace he's Jehovah Shammah he is there he's Jehovah Sabaoth the Lord of hosts he's Jehovah Nisi my banner he's Jehovah Ra my shepherd he's Jehovah Sidkinu my righteousness he's Jehovah Rapha my healer he's Jehovah Yeshua my salvation and he's Jehovah Moshiach my deliverer so now who do you 
you say that I am Lord God Almighty. I am not Buddha. I am not Muhammad. I am not Selassie. I am the Christ, the Son of the living God. So how dare you try to look other sources? How dare you run to Obiaman? How dare you run to Crystal Ball? Who do you say that I am? I am the Christ, the deliverer. I am the Christ, the healer. I am the Christ, your salvation. Slap your neighbor, say neighbor. Who do you say he is? Oh, glory to God. And so, I agree with Bartimaeus. Because if me ever hear, say this your man, when me just list out names and attributes, and it not done yet. Oh God is passing by my way. Then me would have dumb. Uh, per, uh, excuse me, Bishop. Uh, I know I'm a Bible college student, uh, but excuse me for a bit. Uh, me would have dunce. Uh, me would have stupid. Uh, me would have foolish. Uh, if this young man a uh, uh, pass by Yasso, uh, I may sit down over Yasso uh, and not try to get what me want. Uh, I would be stupid. Uh, oh, good God Almighty. Uh, my team just recognized uh, that there was a divine opportunity in his desperation so he cried out Jesus thou son of David have mercy upon me persons around him say blind Bartimaeus shut your mouth shut up top in eyes oh good God almighty but the Bible says Bartimaeus cried out even more the truth is there will always be deliverance blockers there will always be blessing blockers and there will always be salvation blockers Bartimaeus did not allow the healing blockers to prevent him from getting what he needed like Bartimaeus we too encounter barriers uh, that attempt uh, to silence uh, our cries for help uh, but just as Bartimaeus uh, persisted uh, in crying out uh, for help uh, we must find the courage uh, to ignore those voices uh, that seek to silence us uh, can I tell somebody uh, in my hometown uh, in Spalding uh, don't allow uh, that person uh, or those persons uh, to stop you uh, from getting that which uh, you need from God uh, for you have some stock up uh, bad mind uh, wicked people uh, that every time you come to church uh, uh, open up your mouth uh, officer Thompson senior uh, good God almighty uh, them try to shut you up uh, or them hold on them glasses uh, and I said you know where them are going so far uh, I wish she had behaved so far uh, good God almighty uh, those people uh, are called blessing blockers uh, they are worship blockers uh, them no have nothing good uh, we do with you uh, so you ignore uh, the blessing blockers uh, good God almighty uh, in a world uh, that often prizes uh, self-sufficiency uh, and independence uh, crying out for help uh, can be perceived uh, as a sign of weakness oh God Good God Almighty, we may fear judgment, rejection, or ridicule from 
others in the world if we admit that we are struggling or in need of assistance however the truth is that crying out for help requires immense strength and courage it takes courage to confront our own limitations to humble ourselves before Jesus Christ and cry out for help Bartimaeus cried out Jesus thou son of David have mercy on me I am a beggar but have mercy on me I am not worthy but have mercy on me I know I have not always done your will but have mercy on me I know I don't love everybody but have mercy on me I know I'm an adulterer I know I'm a fornicator me know me a fish me know me a lesbian but have mercy on me Jesus Christ I am a murderer I am a prostitute I am a thief but have mercy somebody lift your hands and say have mercy have mercy have mercy on me Jesus somebody show Jesus thou son of David have mercy oh Jesus I'm about to come down now my brothers and sisters not only did Bartimaeus cry out but he surrendered to the Savior surrendering to the Savior is an act of profound faith and trust it is a relinquishing of control and a wholehearted acceptance of divine grace. It is a recognition that we are unable to save ourselves and our acknowledgement of our need for the redemptive power of Jesus Christ to work within us. My sisters and brothers, when Jesus heard Bartimaeus' cry, he stopped in his tracks and commanded that Bartimaeus be brought to him in that moment Bartimaeus faced a pivotal choice to cling to his old way of life to remain in darkness and despair or to surrender to the savior and embrace healing transformation and salvation Bartimaeus chose to surrender to the Savior with courage and with faith he cast aside his cloak him take off him garment watch me now church of God the act of removing his cloak was more than just a physical gesture. It was a symbolic expression of Bartimaeus' surrender to the Savior. In casting off his cloak, Bartimaeus let go his old way of life, his identity as a blind beggar, and his reliance on worldly position. He embraced what I call uh, godly transformation. Uh, this is not uh, a mere acceptance uh, of change, uh, but an intentional uh, surrender uh, to the transformative power uh, that comes with aligning uh, our lives with Jesus. Uh, and that's what Bartimaeus did. Him uh, we sin, him uh, we blindness, him uh, we begging, him uh, of the garment I say see me Jesus work upon me oh good God almighty oh God almighty it means brothers and sisters we must recognize that Jesus has paid the ultimate price it means we must recognize that our sins have been forgiven I am sure 
calling you would have heard this story from my father uh, there was a man you know it well who was working in a corporate office and he would bring his bible to work every day uh, god almighty and at lunchtime he would read that bible evangelist make and he would shout out glory hallelujah but the boss bishop got tired of the noise and took away his bible and give the brother one geography book where geography book can do but the brother came the next morning armed with his geography book and him go in at the lunchroom and him sit down and he began to read then him fling it on and jump up and say glory hallelujah the boss said to him then brother our ass out for your idiot the man said boss in this geography book I read that somewhere out there the sea has no bottom and my bible tells me that Jesus has cast my sins into the sea of forgetfulness so it keeps going down and down and down and down oh Jesus Christ it is a call to recognize that Jesus take this in No worry yourself. May we wash it. Jesus take this sin and fling it. Oh God, I came by spalling to tell somebody uh, that your sins uh, have been paid for. Uh, they are buried. Uh, are you wonder why? Uh, baptism uh, we dip your soul. Uh, uh, bury we are bury uh, the old man. Uh, therefore, uh, if any man uh, be in Christ, uh, he's a new creature. Uh, all things uh, are passed away uh, and behold, uh, I am made new. Uh, slap your neighbor say neighbor I'm a new creation I'm a brand new man all things are passed away and I'm born again oh God don't worry, uncle, as who don't preach, as who don't preach. Oh, good God Almighty. Slap your neighbor, say, neighbor, that which you have me up for from last year, that which you have me up for from five years ago, say, neighbor, is either you let it go or you let me go. Say, neighbor, let me go. Say, neighbor, lose me. You see, the truth is, when you are about to surrender or in surrendering let me say that in surrendering you have to be willing not only to let go of all the things but all the people and i don't mean elderly people i mean people when i care me go nowhere i don't know about you win but I don't have time this year to be caught up with trifling people.
because the truth is Officer McLeod some people will tear you down and mash you up that's their responsibility in your life them not add no value them just did if you rip you apart and fling you one side but throw away those people that have your tie down Lord God Almighty people where they pioneer like blind Bartimaeus like the crippled man you don't yes and people they run you but nobody now help you up. All them I do a video. All them I do a criticize. All them I do a talk. All them I do a laugh. You have to get rid of those people and glass on to people who will help you. Slap your neighbor. Say, neighbor, leave those things behind. Walk out of your seat and shake three people's hand and say, leave those things behind. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I oh, are so nice. Left them there someday and surrender to the Savior. The sex no nice like in Yasso. The drinking no nice like in Zion. The party no nice no like in Zion. Lord Jesus Christ, slap somebody and say, Let it go. Oh Jesus. You see, Wayne, I have been at Spalding. I have been a part of Spalding almost all my life. I mean, no, but where we call Brian's Land Demons. You know, no, say some names, sir. Some don't your name Brian's Land Demons, you know. Those demons that tie you down in one state and then lock you up. You know, just tie you down, you know. It lock you up. But I release every member every visitor of this assembly demons will come over cathedral come hold on the church fire you see big church and high roof you more lock up now you see pretty window A rooftop where you can't keep wedding reception. So you feel like you're in a niceness now. So your prayers get too nice. Demons we occupy empty chair. Uh -huh. Empty chair demons. Oh, 
empty chair demons. Empty road demons. A little war we war over here, sir. You think a little fight we fight over here, sir. But here what happened now? Because you surrender to the demons and not to the savior. The demons come in and buy you to sleep. So you don't know, say I surrender, you have to surrender to the demons. You surrender to the demons. And the Lord will move, you now surrender to God. Wrong surrender. Let the church say wrong surrender. Let the church say wrong surrender. Bartimius. Surrendered to the right set of people. He could have surrendered to the people who were telling him to shut up. Let the church say silent spirit. He could have surrendered to silent spirits. But he surrendered to the Savior. Spalding, look for me good. It is time for us to stop surrendering to silent spirit in our place here. Yes. Yes. Holy quietness spirit. Hold it, musicians, hold it. I have more notes, but me not going out. I want every Jackman door of his stand up. All if you cripple, stand up. Oh God. I want you spoiled in New Testament Church of God, Pentecostal Church. To lift your hand seven times. I can't see down musicians, guy. I go help me. Lift your hand seven times. And in all four directions, you're going to plead the blood of Jesus for no demons not turn this church are done, so. Oh Jesus, we're going to point to the head first. And we're going to plead the blood of Jesus seven times. For this church will not go under. You know what? Me can't talk it. I'm my father. From my father left, you have some people, you see, we just lock off. Some people know I'm Bishop Hepburn found. See. But I command every disobliging spirit. Every spirit of disunity. Every spirit of ah ha 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 You're tired and power one pastor. Then have a night out of Olaba. Stretch your hands, church of God. 
And we're going to plead the blood of Jesus seven times. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Uh-huh. It start breaking you know. It start break. Turn over this side. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Uh-huh. It a break. It a break. It's a break. Turn down so no. Fire get pretty fire so you know worship again. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Turn over, so no. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Territorial demons. Seven. I lose this cathedral for worship. I lose this cathedral for miracle. I lose this cathedral for signs and wonders. Breakthrough will take place. Deliverance will take place. In the name of Jesus, I lose you. 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 Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus. Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, I lose you. We let go the catch, we let go the bomb, we let go the tie. In the name of Jesus, I lose you. Yeah.
slap your neighbor, say neighbor. Say neighbor, loose the man of God. Say neighbor, loose the man of God. Touch three more people, say neighbor. Loose the man of God. You're too rebellious. You're too stubborn. You're too conniving. And spiteful. Mm. Every time the man of God say go right, you're gone left. Every time the man of God say forward, you're gone backward. Spirit of stubbornness and rebellion, we bind you. Oh, so you plan for right later. You want a letter? If you send go up ahead of this. We tear it up. Every week, you're the on the phone. I tear down the man of God. I tear down the leadership. We mash up your signal. And then you come back in you know, a demand of God face a smile. Like you never just don't tear him down. Mm -hmm. Now worry yourself, you know. I soon pack up and go back a whole but you don't have to worry about me. Let the church a spirit of rebellion. Let the church a spirit of rebellion. Bishop Hepburn, I cover you in the name of Jesus. Now worry yourself. When they oppose and they rebel, now worry yourself. Oh Jesus, I know you're not going to do this, but don't make them turn against your brother. Don't make them turn against your brother. You know they can't do it. We well, have some conniving people. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Take the warning. Hallelujah. Take the warning. Jesus. Jesus. Mercy God. Mercy God. Shake your neighbor and say, neighbor, take the warning. For the next time, I'm warning, I'm going to take place. For anybody that stand up in the way of this church. They're going to see how the Lord will remove you and push you one side. I'm going to close. If you're not a Christian, I want you to run. Come down here quickly. Let me pray for you. You're not saved. You're not a Christian. Haven't surrendered your life fully to Jesus as yet. Run. Come down here. Let me pray for you. So that, does that mean we're all saved in here today? Come on, church of God, people, if you see a sinner beside you, come on, accompany them to the altar. Is there a backslider in here? Come as well.
Today, friends, I can't give you a house, I can't give you a car, I can't give you money, but I can give you the Jesus Bartimaeus cried out to today. I can give you a man who can lift you up to places where when you reach there, you wonder how you reach there. I can give you a man that can provide all you need. I can give you a man who can give you a good wife. I can give you a man who can give you a whole heap of money. A whole heap of care and house and land. But you can't get it without the surrender part. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Then everything else will come your way. David said, I have never seen the what righteous forsaken. Now I see it begging bread. Today I give you Jesus. Will you take Jesus home with you today? If you will, please lift your hands. If you're accepting, don't watch anybody around you. If you're accepting Jesus, lift up your hand. Yeah. Accepting Jesus, lift your hand, man. Oh God, we worship you. We lift you high, God. Oh, Jesus, you're worthy to be praised. 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 Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. And I will not be silent. I will always worship you as long as I am breathing. I will always worship you. Oh, Jesus, we give you glory. Sing it again, and I will, and I will not be sad. I will always worship you. As long as I am breathing. So we lift you high, 
Yahweh, Yahweh, Lord, we lift you high. Yahweh, Yahweh, I just feel like giving God some praise right now. We lift you high. Yahweh, Yahweh, we lift you high. And I will not be sad. Oh God, we give you glory as long as I am free. Father, here are your children before you. They have accepted you as your Lord and Savior. They have made the decision to surrender to the Lord of Bartimaeus. To surrender to the Lord of the woman with that issue of blood. They have made that step today, Jesus. Search their hearts, Lord. Oh God Almighty. Touch their minds and their spirits that they may come in alignment with you, O oh God. That as they surrender to you, they will never be in lack. They will never be in need. And they will even never be in want. But Lord, you will provide their needs according to your riches in glory. Through Christ Jesus. Keep your hand upon them, Lord. We come against spirit of black sliding. We come against spirits of turning back. And we pray that as Bartimaeus, like Bartimaeus, after he got his deliverance, he followed you on the road. Allow them that as you work in them, through them, for them, they will follow you. And continue to follow you. Touch them, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Did you get the names? Amen. And I will not be sad. I will. God bless you, Spalding. Until we meet again. Bishop Hepburn. Mr. Nathan, student pastor Nathan, ministered just when he reached about the mid of his sermon, the voice of God spoke clear like as never yet before, that we have a responsibility here today to pray for him. I'm going to ask him to come. And he's going to kneel on these two. I wonder what the Holy Spirit says. 
is going to kneel on these two kneeling pads. Glory to God. And I'm going to ask the two deacons to kneel beside him. Reverend Williams will stand directly behind him. The other council members, evangelists, and prayer mothers. We're going to surround. The mouth and the belly of hell has been opened. But upon this rock, Koshaba Kotoria, we build our church. Let us be responsive to the Holy Spirit right now. Kneel on these two. The two deacons will kneel as close as possible to him. Come, officers, evangelists, prayer warriors. Lakasa, Okamahudia. Wonder what the Holy Spirit says. Bring me one of those chairs. Come here, Sister Mackenzie. Come here. Somebody say, Holy Ghost. Look at your neighbor and say, this means war. This means war. Come around. Come around, mother. His mother and father is not here. But you are a grandmother. Sit. Sit. Put your head in mama's lap. We'll mash up every plot. Somebody say the blood of Jesus. Somebody worship in the house. What the spalling, man? What the spalling? What the spalling? What, what, what? What, church? What, 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 what? You know, see what, what? Oh, <laughs> hallelujah. Jesus, we put Nathan night in your hands, Lord. Cover him under the blood, undergird him with strength. Build him up, God. Let his metabolism be strong. Tissue of his body be in full function and operation. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Spirit of the living God, anoint your son. Oh, Shakando Satoria Bahaya, in the name of Jesus. Sucking demon, you demon of contamination. Oh, hallelujah! You system suppressing demon, you spirit killing demon, 
You anointing blocking demon. Oh, you advancement stopper. We shut you down. We shut you out. And we declare blood coverage. Strength. 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 Oh, the Spirit of God. Touch him, Lord. Fulfillment. Accomplishment. We put him in your hands. We put him in your loving care, God. We thank you for children's church. We thank you for Sunday school. We thank you for spalling brethren who prayed him true. And he has not forgotten how we have helped him. So touch him, God. Touch him, you know, God. For we not left him up, you know, God. Demons and devil, you better know that him have back up. Demons and devil, you better know that we are watch him. Demons and devil, you better know that you have to go through the blood to touch him. In the name of Jesus Christ, touch him, Lord. Whatever may have entered into his system, to allow him to feel bad, not feeling well, coughing, sneezing, nausea and vomiting. We ask your God that you'll flush it out. We ask your God that you'll touch him. We ask your God that you'll minister to him. We ask your God that through college, shakori asata, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we pray for strength. We pray for deliverance. And every bad no demon. Ah. Ah. Every program demon. Every proper demon. That question is motive for going into Bible college. That have a problem with him not going to university of the West Indies or UTEC. We shut them down in the name of Jesus Christ. Let his purpose, his desire, and his passion be fulfilled as he pursue ministry. Cover him, Lord. Catch him, Lord. And we believe you for strength. And we believe you for reinforcement, we pray. And we put him under the blood and we seal him under the anointing. In Jesus' name, somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh. We have your hand and shout hallelujah. When grandma hold you, you know, when grandma pray for you, Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Come on, Spalling. Shout hallelujah. Ooh, yes, sir. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Father God, we have seen the sign. And we know you are at work in his life. Continue to cover him. Continue to be with him. Continue to guide him. Continue to protect him. And Father God, as he's studying to be a stronger person in you, continue to use him to your glory and your honor. Bless his parents. Bless his brother. Bless us here, the members. Help us to continue to pray for him. God, lift him up and let him stand. He's yours. We leave him in your hands now as we continue to look to you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for a job well done. Thank you, we pray. Amen. Thank you, nurse. Put your hands together for the Holy Ghost, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. What a word. What a word. What a word. What a move. What an anointing. What a shift. Somebody praise God. I said, what a shift in the service. And look what the Lord hath done. Just ministered through Minister Nathan Knight. Amen. Your, our Sunday school student. Our children's church student, our little baby Nathan, doing wonders for Almighty God. We are proud of him. Just like we are proud of all the speakers that will speak in this crusade. We are proud of him the very same way. Put your hands together for Minister Nathan Knight. Glory to God. Amen. We really appreciate the level of growth and maturity. Amen. In the word of God and in his ministry. Amen. Calling. Brothers and sisters, we have bypassed the offering and maybe one and two things. Amen. For the word of God and it was quite worth it. Amen. But it's a time to give everybody. It's a time. You've brought your offering. You've brought your tithes. And I know you don't want to go back home. And neither do I want you to go back home with it. It's more blessed to give than to receive. I am quite cognizant that Officer McLeod is the one who leads out this month. But I am standing here. And I'll use this opportunity to appeal to you. To give back to God as he has blessed you. God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. And so as you purpose to give today, make sure you give a sacrificial offering today. Make sure your tithes and your offering, amen, is pleasing to God. He said, Abel gave a more acceptable gift, sacrifice. Cain was upset, amen, about Abel's recognition and the acceptance of his sacrifice. But Abel just did what he had was to do and allow God to be pleased. God wants to be pleased with our gifts today. He wants to be pleased with our sacrifice. The ushers are lining up at this time. Amen. It's, it, it's a total shift today. Amen. I appeal to you to give today. And Officer McLeod is going to be praying. Amen. After for every person who have given. You see... We're breaking away today as the Holy Spirit wants us from the regular because he's moving by his spirit. And sometimes we can't understand it. But if you don't realize that the Holy Ghost have been moving from the very announcement that should have come and you realize that it has to delay. And then I wanted to comment and the Holy Spirit says, listen, it's not as usual. Because I am now in the midst and I want to have control. And even now, Sister Almin is having control. Somebody say, have control, Holy Ghost. Somebody 
Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. We're doing it different. We won't go right back, Brother Seymour and Brother, go right to the last bench. Are we taking it from down there? Come up. Come on, somebody. I said, we're taking it from down there. So the enemy expecting us to go one road, but we go in the next road. Somebody say, somebody say, Holy Ghost. Shift. Somebody worship. Somebody worship. Somebody worship in the house. Hey, my God, somebody praise him. Hey, Baba Ketoria. The choir will minister during the collecting of the offering. By the time they reach up here, you would be at the either the last stanza or the last or repeating the chorus. At that time, you will move while singing to give your offering along with us. Come on, somebody. When that is through, if the announcement is ready, we'll take the recording. And then that which you had planned to do for the offering collection, it will be our recessional hymn. Somebody shout hallelujah. I'm under divine orders. Somebody help me. Don't play with a man when he's under the Holy Ghost. Somebody open your mouth. Shout a hallelujah. Shout a yes. Shout a yes, yes Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Let me just go with the Holy Ghost. Come down here now, man. Come down here. 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 See me. You come right here, sir. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Good about. Good about. Good about. All of us. All of us. Somebody shout hallelujah. Mm, I am giving you a warm. No troubles, Paul, in no trouble the church. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Somebody just lift your hand and say hallelujah. Lift your hand and shout a prayers. Woo! Come on, Spalling. Come on, come on, come on. Hear the Holy Ghost, hear the, hear the third person of the triune God. Mm. I am giving you a word. Are you ready, Quan? Somebody shout hallelujah. One more time. Open your mouth and say, I am giving you a warning. A 
Just bow your heads. Don't sit. Just bow your heads. Officer McLeod, just pray for us. Praise the name of the Lord. I stretch my hands to thee, O Lord, the Lamb of Calvary, Savior divine. Father, we worship you for your many, many blessings. We thank you most of all for the opportunity to be here. We thank you, Lord, that you have provided for us. We thank you for the strength you have given to us. We thank you for the way you have made that your children can be able to bring back a portion of what you have blessed us with. And so, Heavenly Father, I come in behalf of your children Mm. Hallelujah. I am not worthy to do so. For you're the God that lift up one, you're the God that put down one. You're the God that give up increase. You're the God Almighty that do all things because you're the Shayam God. And so, Lord, I ask you to bless every hand that stretch forth. Eh. I pray that God increase, may go almighty God as far as a thousand fold. I pray that Lord God almighty, every dry stage of every person, that God you may speak to their dry grounds. And that the substance in every person that give today, bless whatever they do for a living. I pray for health and strength to continue that they can be able to labor. Sanctify this gift, Almighty God. Bless it and sanctify it. That whatever work you have put to the Lord, your name will be glorified. Glorify yourself now, Lord, and demolish the powers of hell. God Almighty, some dry stage in this place, some barrenness. We speak to some barren ground and we speak life. That God, the children will never go empty. Sickness, bad problem, buried in marriage, in home, whatever it is, we speak to them and we speak life. Thank you for what you're about to do now. And for the remaining of this service and this program, have your way in Jesus' name. Amen. With your head still bow, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, 
We thank you, Lord God, that even now we can come to you on the behalf of our students who will be sitting their PEP exam this week. Lord, I present them to you, Lord. From whichever primary school they come, oh God, whichever school they attend, be it grade five or grade six, Lord, I present them to you, Lord. I pray, God, that you'll enter into their minds. I pray for the ability, oh God, and the mind to remember. I pray, Heavenly Father, that their memory will be intact. I pray, God, that they will apply themselves to whatever question, oh God, that is being asked on the paper, whatever problem comes. I pray, Heavenly Father, that they'll be able to solve them if it is mathematics. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that every spirit of nervousness and fear and timidity will be canceled even now. Walk through every primary school, every prep school. Oh God, from here in Spaulding's right to Negril Point and Moran Point. Lord, I pray, Heavenly Father, that the teachers, the parents, the students themselves, oh God, will be comfortable, confident. And I pray for passes. I pray for excellence. I pray for favor. I pray for blood coverage. I pray, God, that you'll rest your hand upon every child. I pray, God, that as they walk into the exam room, oh God, boldness, confidence, oh God, and the mind and spirit will come upon them. Oh God, that they will walk out, oh God, feeling assured and reassured. Bless them and cover them, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Brothers and sit, sit. Uh, let me check the announcements are ready. Yes, the announcements are ready. Don't move. Just get the announcements, everybody. Tech team, over to you. Please listen to the following announcements. Crusade continues tonight. We will meet in the town of Spallings at 6.30 p.m. Bishop Harris will bring the word. We will then take a break next week Sunday and continue with Crusade on Sunday, March 3rd, 2024. Tomorrow night will be Ladies Ministry and Life Builders Meeting at 7 p.m. Converts classes continues online on Tuesday at 7 p.m. If you have not joined the classes as yet, please do. This Tuesday at 10 a.m. will be fasting service. This Wednesday at 7 p.m. will be evening fast. Friday evening at 6.30 p.m. is youth fellowship. Online prayer meeting continues 
for the month of February at 5 a.m. We are also encouraged to pray at midnight so as to strengthen our spiritual growth. Please continue to support the rally groups as they raise funds towards our rally in June. Please continue to support the Get Fit Exercise session on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 5.30 a.m. each morning, endorsed by the Health, Wellbeing, and Social Activities Department. Please support and contribute to our weekly radio broadcasts, the Life and Power broadcasts, every Saturday morning at 8 a.m., to 10 a.m. on Central 96.3 FM and Adoration Gospel FM New York. Remember to visit our church YouTube platform at Spaulding's New Testament Church of God. Like, subscribe, and share the link. Remember to click on the bell to receive regular notifications of our programs. Get ready for our educational institution next door in collaboration with HeartTrust NTA. We will be moving towards providing educational and training for those who are in need. More details will follow. Good Friday service and fellowship coming up soon as Easter is just around the corner. The Spaulding's District of Churches Family Life Department will be hosting a marriage forum this Tuesday at 7 p.m. at the Spring Ground New Testament Church of God. All are invited. The Spalding District of Churches Family Life Department will also be hosting a singles outing on Saturday, March 9, 2024 at The View in Oligata Pond. Transportation, entry fee, breakfast, and lunch, only $7,000. Come out, meet, and interact other singles. Come and enjoy the pool, garden, play games, and just relax. Couples are also invited, but this is a single affair. Stay tuned for district netball and football coming up. Our Bishop Steve Hepburn will be preaching at the Tent Crusade in Sanguinetti this Thursday. All members are invited to give support. The Women's Choir will minister. If you are a part of another choir or you're not a part of any choir at all, we invite you to choir rehearsal this Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. Bishop would also like to express thanks to the members, visitors, and our online worshippers who supported the District Unity Fasting on Ash Wednesday. The Santa Hill House of Praise invites us to their Choir in Praise concert. Theme, Raise a Hallelujah. On Friday, February 23rd at 6.30 p.m. Cost $500 per person. If the choir consists of over 10 persons, you will pay $300 per person. Remember to visit, pray for, and support the sick and shut-ins. Brother Raymond Richards has lost a brother. Please remember him in our prayers. Birthday greetings and anniversary celebrations. The following persons are celebrating their wedding anniversary. Brother Mickey and Tonian Thomas. Brother Percival Warren. Mr. Michael and Sister Nicole Mitchell. The following persons celebrated their birthday in the past week. Brother Hubert Wright. Brother Lyndon Ashley. Sister Tavia Bonner. Sister Maxine Shaw Copeland. The following persons will be celebrating their birthdays this week. Sister Kalia Harriet, Sister Tanisha Gale. These persons are celebrating their special day today. Sister Carol Lindsay and Sister Gloria Sharp. Please remember to use the log provided 
in sending your announcement relating to your department by latest midday Thursday. If you don't have access to the log, you can contact any member of the communication team. These are the announcements. Let us support and attend to those we can. If you are here and you are not saved today, today is a good day to surrender your life to the Lord. Watch God work on your behalf. Continue to enjoy the service. in that competition has moved on to finals. Six, seven, seven entries and all seven has gone to finals. That's at the parish level. So come on, we're going at the national level. Parish finals. So our church continue to do well. So not only Tuesday, Amen. And I'm happy that I made my contribution and ensure that they reach safe. And I made my contribution again to ensure that our children got to Old Harbor. And this time around, like other times, amen, this time in an extensive way, we ensure that all they needed was just their backpack with their snack or their little lunch money. No fear, no registration, no other expense came to the parents all the children themselves, we took care of that and we were proud of them that the church continued to advance and we we're able to impact them. And they have gone and they have allowed us to feel proud because in the central region, the top district again, the top church again, is the Spalding New Testament Cathedral. We have gone to the central playoff and all the top big churches in the central region with 24 entries from this location. Out of the 24 entries, we have 23 first place. And the other one not drop out. The other one is second place. So, so all 24 entries, Ghana finals. Give it up for our young people. Give it up for the drum roll. Give us a sound. Woo! Spalling again. We gone again, April. And next year we gone back at Cleveland taking it to the world we are on top and we continue to bless God for the youth department and the performing arts ministries and we are investing and I said to sister Marisa that even 40 years from now we will still be on top because sister Marisa was saying she have over 50 children who have not yet entered any of these and they are way down here so you can imagine 30 years from now, Sister Graham, spalling still. And by the time those 30, 40 reach up here, amen, Sister, Sister Camille and Sister Almin, them baby we born, so therefore them. them <laughs> amen. Uh, and by that time, Nathan, we married, and Nathan, baby, we have to come to spalling, because like how oh, you start a spalling, your children have to start a spalling too. Amen. But we are just happy. Amen and amen. And by that time, my next baby would be like Kalani. Yeah, my next baby would be like Kalani. Bless God, I love all of you. 
Thank you for coming out today. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for enjoying our worship service. It was a joy to have had you. If you came in after the official welcome or announcements, amen, you are welcome. And we did appreciate you. Yes, sir. So all the married people from this church, remember we have an obligation regarding our ministry and the program and activities that are going on and the, at the district level and at the local level. Please see us see the summons, amen, so we can attend to our part of it. Amen, everybody. God bless you. God keep you. Officer Richie, our condolences to you. And we are praying for you during this time of bereavement, sir. God bless you. Remember, know our people. Amen. Next month is ours. Amen. The kind of finish up this month. Amen. So, I don't know if he's doing soup Friday. He will tell you later. And fritters. Amen. So, after the soup and fritters, we will take care of you with something else. Amen. God bless you. The praise team will take us out. Nobody else have to move because we are already going out. Amen. Greetings, people of God. This is your pastor, Bishop Steve Hepburn. Thank you for joining us for worship today. We at the Spaulings New Testament Church of God receive you in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We hope that the service today will bless you richly and deepen your relationship with Christ. As you join us virtually, don't just sit and look on. Sing and worship with us. Pray for and preach with the preacher. And raise your best praise to our King. God bless you as you worship.